Hi everyone, today we're making twister potatoes or spiral fries. I'm sure you've seen them at your carnival or at the night market. They're a neat way of serving potato chips on a stick. I'm sure you've seen them uh, and they're really easy to make at home as well. So the chips are really thin and crispy and they can be flavored in a dozen different ways. Now commercially at the markets they have a piece of machinery that is used to cut the potato on the skewer into spirals so that you can just spread it out and um, deep fry to get that spiral potato look. Now this piece of machinery does come in different uh, sizes and shapes and it's available online but we can also make this at home without any such equipment. So here we see the skewers, they're deep fried until they're crisp and they're flavored. There's original salt, cheese powder, black pepper flavor, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, and chili powder and salt. So uh, I personally really love the chili powder and salt. Here I'm going to take you through how to make these spiral fries or twister potatoes right at home. They're simple to make, um, you just need two cutting boards. So I have a larger cutting board uh, to place as the base and I have a smaller one. So what we're going to do, we have the potatoes um, peeled and I place them in water. I put them in water so that the potatoes don't turn black in color. Peeling is optional. You can also keep the skin on the potatoes. Just scrub them with a vegetable scrubber and you can do them that way as well. So we have a larger cutting board for the base and we need another cutting board. Okay, now this is important, uh, the thickness of your cutting board. You notice it's about um, half an inch uh, wide. The side of the cutting board is around the size of a thumbnail and we place this cutting board on top of the base cutting board and now we have our potato i've patted it dry with kitchen paper towel now we place the potato against the top cutting board push it against the side so that it sits firmly and then with a long knife we start to slice the potato using the top cutting board as a guide to slice the potato straight all the way to the end and here, you have to pay attention to this point. The bottom of the knife never touches the cutting board that lies beneath. Uh, the knife never touches it, uh, so this ensures that our potato is only cut halfway through or just up to the mark of the top cutting board. Um, if you slice it all the way to the bottom, you will get sliced potatoes and you will not get this spiral effect. And then you turn the potato around. But this time, instead of slicing straight, you tilt your knife ever so slightly just to get a slight angle and then slice the same way. Now this angle gives you that pattern that you want to create the spiral look for the potatoes once they are on your skewer. If you cut them straight, I find that it doesn't work as nicely. The slant does not have to be too heavy, just a slight slant. Now, as you can see, you, we have uh, nice spiral potatoes or spring potatoes, uh, much like the slinky. Remember the slinky toy that kids used to play with? I never see that anymore. So we're gonna do this one more time. Remember to pat down the potato with the kitchen paper towel to remove the water, otherwise it's slippery. And place it against the top cutting board and start to slice evenly, thinly as possible and straight without touching the bottom cutting board. All the way to the end.
using a large uh, long knife like this helps turn it over and pat it dry again and we're going to slice but this time just at a slight angle it doesn't have to be too slanted just a slight angle though this gives uh, you that result that you're after all the way to the end and we made our potato slinky so aren't these neat they're kind of fun to play with as well they say you shouldn't play with your food but sometimes it's hard to resist So one more time really quickly against the top cutting board straight slices all the way to the end don't touch the bottom cutting board with the knife turn over and as at a slight angle this time repeat the process And I also tried another method um, by placing the potato directly on the skewer and then using a small knife to cut spiral all the way around using the skewer in the middle as a guide to go around. But I found this method to give really thick slices, not as thin as the other one and it's also not foolproof. You might cut through and um, it doesn't work basically. So. So the first method is definitely much better and you can see our results really nice a whole potato that has been cut into this slinky or spring uh, pattern it gives you nice thin and with more practice you can make the potato chips even thinner to fry them we're going to skewer the potatoes onto a wooden skewer do this carefully piercing the potato right through the center and then gently spread out the potato uh, so that each chip has space to be fried nice and crisp so you, if you don't have a uh, wooden skewers you can use metal skewers as well and now you want to use a nice wide frying pan with enough oil to deep fry. Make sure the oil is nice and hot, but not too hot when you place the potatoes inside to avoid darkening too quickly. And fry till they're nice and golden brown and they start to get crisp. Drain these on a paper towel for a couple of minutes. Uh, this helps them to get a little bit more crisp and then you can um, add salt and seasoning as you like. Nice and hot and crispy. This makes a nice, neat snack anytime. And the kids love it. So as I mentioned, uh, there are several different flavors. You can add mayonnaise or cheese or uh, all sorts of different toppings. But I much prefer the simple salt and chili powder. and serve them while they're nice, hot and crispy. I hope you have fun making your Twister potatoes at home. If you do, send me a picture and tag me on Instagram, recipes are simple, or you can email me your pics, recipes are simple at gmail.com. So I hope you enjoy the quick video recipe. Thanks for watching. Bye.